Hello everyone and welcome back to GRP tutorial. In today's episode we'll look into the assault class in more detail. So I'll talk about the role of a, an assault class and a strategy and I hope this could help you when you're playing an assault class. So a quick overview of the assault class like I've mentioned before. Um, it is a tanker class, it's taking damage for the team and it's really useful if you use combat regen because that will uh, increase the chance of you surviving uh, more attacks and the main job of assault is to really push hard the front line and help su support uh, the team and then secure the lines so uh, let's have a look at the weapon setup of assault class so i'm going with a uh, hybrid setup here but overall i would recommend you guys to have a two setup one is for long range and one for the short range but if you guys are good with your gun control you can go with uh, hybrid uh, like how i set up my gun here so i can do a medium medium fight so pretty well um, close combat is pretty well and if you go to cover uh, it does quite good as well for the long range but if you're still new I would recommend you to go for two setup with one CQC and one long range gun if you don't have two assault rifles uh, it's okay you can try using shotgun so I use shotgun for my close combat as well as you can see it's pretty um, effective but not for the long range so why why with the two setup because what you want is you want to swap between each weapons depending on how your team uh, and how the map is played so just to give an example uh, in Tomsk uh, what you want is you have to use CQC in point C because everything is close quarter and as soon as you go out from the point C it goes to medium fight and sometimes long at the A and E point and at that point what you want is you want to swap up to a more long range weapon so that's pretty much about the weapon so that's how I set up my gun for the assault and for the abilities um, standard um, ADS and blitz um, nothing nothing uh, unusual here so try to get as high as possible if you if you don't just slowly um, upgrade your equipment with it um, for the squad support I really recommend you to use combat regen um, it's really helpful um, for your teammates as well because it helps you to regen while you're in combat so what that means is that you you don't stop regening your health okay so that's pretty much all about the setup and the loadout of my class and assault class please take this as a reference but it's uh, it's just a uh, tips for me um, as always go with what you're comfortable with uh, because each people have a uh, different preferences and I'll talk to you about the abilities usage so for ADS okay for every abilities in GRP you can use it for both offensive and defensive it depends on the situation of the match and situation on the field and you have to constantly adapt so for using uh, the abilities for offensive uh, on ADS I would recommend you to pair up with specialists or uh, support and to use APS together so tell them that you're gonna charge up your ADS or normally the uh, support will tell you that they're gonna charge up the APS and what you're gonna do is you have to watch out for their Q and then support them with your heat or ADS so what this gives you is that you're gonna support them with your ADS and cover their blank, uh, blind side while they move up and swipe through the maps and clean every enemies and for blitz, uh, what you want to use as offensive is to gain uh, grounds at the start of the round. So blitz is really useful for you to move up really fast at the start of the game. Uh, to give you an example of this is Tom's map. So what I normally do is that 
as soon as I jump out of the spawn point, I'll use my blitz immediately to get to point C so that I can prevent more enemies coming in from uh, the other side and to give uh, that strong presence of frontline for your teammates to come in safely. So that's one way to use blitz uh, for offensive. The other way is to just blitz multiple enemies and have your teammates uh, wipe them out. Um, never use blitz just to get one kill. It's, it's, a, it's a waste of uh, energy and normally you don't get to kill the enemies because if they have a good uh, cover positioning, their teammates will normally take you out. All right, on defensive side, what you want to use for ADS is to counter the enemy pushes. So when enemy push with APS, uh, normally the support will have uh, will come with, together with their assault um, with the ADS APS combo. And what you want is that take up a defensive position and hit them back so that they don't get that ground while waiting uh, for their abilities to guard. You can just keep those um, ADS pointing at them while telling your teammates to move up slowly. For Blitz, uh, as a defensive, normally what you want to do is you can use it on countering to, you can use it to counter the ADS and APS push combo as well. So what you want is you want to Blitz the uh, APS guy and then you Blitz the ADS guy. Normally they come up with a pair, but if, if they have a good positioning, normally they, they keep their distances and you have to be smart about that. So I've talked to you about the offensive and defensive usage of the abilities and those are only some of the example. But remember, um, when you use your abilities, look out for situation, look out for enemies and then use them smartly. Okay, so what I'm going to show you um, right, right uh, soon is that I have some footage um, that I've captured and I'm going to show you how to use them uh, in the battle. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, here we are. So I got a match and my opening strategy here is to have an, a CQC with a blitz. So I pick up my shotgun and what I'm gonna do is try to push up the front line as far as possible so that I can uh, help my teammate to capture the point safely. So here I encountered two enemies and I quickly picked them up with my shotgun. And as soon as I got that, I knew that their spawn wave will be a wall. So I activated my blitz to secure the left room. So this is very important. In Moscow city or in this map, uh, the left room of the enemy's point is a really key strategy point for you to hold. And especially at this l shape uh, cover, you can monitor two entrances of the enemy side so as you can see i've managed to push back enemies front line by just uh, me standing here it will give the enemies the pressure to clear this room otherwise they will have the risk of me uh, killing them from behind so that that was a really good oracle from my teammate and i know that that was their spawn wave and I know nothing will uh, come anymore. So what I what I did here was that I quickly uh, take them out to help with my teammate and also to create that confusion and chaos. As you can see, I managed to secure four kills. Now that even though my uh, my teammates are not capturing, I'm trying to create the chaos, and eventually we managed to capture the point. And that is how I use my blitz. So in this part of the video, uh, what you will see is that how I use my ADS uh, to be a defensive point. So the time is ticking down, we're running out of time, and I know that the enemies will do a huge push to prevent us from capturing B. So what I did is that I activated my ADS as soon as the push come in, and I let my team uh, swipe through the enemies. And once uh, they manage to swipe, uh, wipe them out, I take up a defensive position in uh, this place. Uh, this is really powerful because I can watch uh, the enemies coming down and throw down some uh, uh, suppressing fire. 
as you notice I'm running out of ammo and what you want to do at this uh, situation is that to keep those uh, covering fire out even with handgun it will create that sense of pressure to the enemies and that's how we managed to get B at the nick of time now that you've seen some of my example I hope that this helps uh, you guys uh, this is the end of these uh, this episode's tutorial please leave a comment if you like it and let me know what do you guys think and how I can improve uh, my upcoming tutorial or if you just want me to cover some of uh, the other topics uh, just leave me a message and I'll add it into my backlog alright see you guys